Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be going over the various elements of an Excel workbook. Let's get started. So the first thing that you need to know is if you're learning how to use Excel, it can be pretty intimidating when you open it up. I'm going to go over the various elements within this screen so that as I refer to them in future videos, it'll be easy for you to understand exactly where my cursor is at at all times. So first off, the quick access toolbar is in the top left. That contains the save, undo, and redo buttons. These are common commands that can be used, to with, uh, used with a single click. Next up, in the top middle, you're gonna see your file name. This is usually called book one if you're starting a new document, but I've named mine something else, and so you can see that name here. Next up, you can see the Collapse the Ribbon button. If you ever want to collapse the ribbon, you could do that here. And the ribbon is actually this area right below the uh, title bar. And so I'll show you more about that in just a second. You could also minimize, restore down, or maximize, and close your file right up here. All right, next up is the ribbon, which is right below this title bar here. And that starts with the File tab and goes all the way through the View tab and it also contains all of the commands as well as the name box and the formula bar. I'm going to go over what these areas mean. First off, the file tab is a little bit different from the rest of the tabs because it displays a backstage area that contains options for working with and managing your file. Usually when you work in this area, it's to do something like save or print. It's not really to edit anything with on your actual workbook. Next up, you have the home tab. The home tab you'll see here contains a lot of buttons below it. Okay, this is true of all of the tabs within uh, Excel. And so if I stay on the home tab here, you're going to see all of the commands. These commands are grouped into groups. And so they're categorized by all of these groups, including the clipboard group, font group, alignment group, number group, styles group, cells group, and editing group for the home tab. Now keep in mind that these buttons that are within these groups are all related to one another. So for instance, if I know that I'm going to change something related to the font on my cell, well then I know that I could go to the Home tab, Font Group, and I'll find options like Font Size, Bold, Italics, and Font Color. So these all relate to the font itself. Now if I don't see an option that I want within the font uh, group, I could actually look to the bottom right corner of that group and you'll see this little button which is a square with a diagonal arrow coming out of it and this is a dialog box launcher and this will help you further cu customize your font and so I can click that and you'll see all of the different font options that are available within Excel and I'll close that. So that's called a dialog box launcher and so once again that displays more options for the font group. Keep in mind some uh, groups do have a dialog box launcher and some like styles do not. All right so the next step here is I'm going to look at the collapse ribbon button and that's right over here collapse the ribbon. If you ever accidentally click this which my students do pretty regularly on accident they'll click it and it'll hide all of the buttons and then they'll say where did my buttons go? You actually have to click back on this on the home tab or any of the tabs and go back over to that button and pin the ribbon and that'll redisplay the ribbon no matter where you click on your page. Next up, below uh, the groups, you'll see this area right here, which is the name box. This displays your active cell, and also the formula bar, which displays any contents within the active cell. Now, the active cell is actually the cell that you have clicked on, or the range of cells that you have clicked recently. Now, the active cell is always the cell that is in a lighter shade in a range, or it's the cell that has the green border around it if you select a single cell. So you can see here that it says 04 in the name box. That's because I'm in column O, which is signified by letters A through Z, and then it starts at AA and goes all the way to XFD, so you're not gonna run out of columns. So that's column O. And then rows, which start in ascending order at one and go all the way, I think it goes all the way past a million. And so I'm in row four, and so that's right there. All right, great. So that's row O, or that's uh, active cell O4. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna show you here is your cell pointer. Your cell pointer is wherever your cursor is at. This pointer will tell you uh, a lot about what's going on, where you're at on your page. So for instance here, I see my cell pointer. It's this white plus sign. If I click anywhere, it'll make the active cell. Keep in mind that as I go over different parts of my page, like the formula bar, and the commands up in the ribbon that the pointer will actually change to a different pointer depending on where I'm at on the page. 
All right, so the next thing that I'm going to go over is um, I'm going to go over the sheet tab, which is in the bottom left here. You could always see the name of your active sheet. The active sheet is always in bold lettering, and it always has a green underline below it. So that's what sheet you are in. Next up is the new sheet button. That's this plus sign, and when you click that, it'll actually add a new sheet onto your page. And then you can switch between your sheets by clicking on them. Over here along the bottom, you will see the horizontal scroll bar, and this will allow you to scroll left and right on your page. And to the top right of that, you'll see your vertical scroll bar, which will allow you to scroll up and down on your page. Below even that, you have this uh, status bar down here, and you can see the mode of your Excel workbook, as well as, let me move myself out of the way there, you could also see down here your zoom level and your current views that you're uh, in for Excel. All right, great. So last things that I'm going to go over here are the fill handle. So if I click on an active cell, notice that I can hover over the bottom right of that uh, active cell and it will change it to a black plus sign. This is the fill handle. This is used for copying formulas. And then finally, you have this button just to the left of column A and above row one, that's select all. And so if you click that right there, in right here. That's going to select your entire workbook. Again, row headers are uh, signified by the letters and, uh, or sorry, column headings are by letters and row headings are by numbers. Okay, and so that's a little bit about the Excel window. So hopefully you learned something new about uh, what you're looking at when you see an Excel workbook. And if you have learned something from this video and it's been helpful for you, please consider liking the video and sub subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to you. And uh, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.